tell him what he was doing? Oh, I all right, good morning, team. Let's go ahead and get started for class today. Let's go ahead and go to attention stance. Very good job. And balcony eight. All right, from here, let's go ahead and go on to our student tenants. So, student tenants, and begin. Honor, courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self control, courage, and community. Balcony eight. Very good job. And June B. All right, from here, what we're going to start off today with warm ups, I want you to start off giving me. 10 jumping jacks each direction. So what I want you to do is I want you to do 10 jumping jacks this way. I want you to turn, give me 10 this way, turn, give me 10 this way, and turn, give me 10 more this way. All right, you ready? And begin. 10 jumping jacks each side. Full arm swing. Does not matter if you're the fastest one. As long as you get it done, that's what matters. That's what matters. All right, so getting those jumping jacks going. Awesome job, awesome job. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Very good, very good. As soon as you're done, just wait for everyone else to finish up. Give a little bit, just to get everybody time to get through it. Give about 10, 15 more seconds or so. All right, almost there, almost there. And, and time. All right, from here, everyone down on your belly. And give me 10 awesome black belt push-ups and begin. Great job, great job. Give me 10 of those best awesome black belt push-ups. And once you're done, go ahead and stand up. As soon as you're done. So I wanna see those awesome push-ups. I want to see those awesome push-ups. Very good. Keep it going. Keep it going. You got this. Just 10, though. As soon as you're done with your 10, you are good to go. All right. I'll give you 15 more seconds. 10, 9, 8. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to count that far. But keep it going. Almost there. Give you a couple more seconds. Hey, Dan. Azarel has a question. Let oh. me unmute him. All right, Azura, what's the question? My camera fell when I was doing my jumping jacks. When I turned around and see my camera, it was fell. It fell down. Oh, you were just jumping like crazy, huh? <laughs> That's a good thing. It means you were working hard. Yes. All right. So, so I'm glad to see that you're back in class, and I'm glad to see that the camera is working, though. So let's go ahead, and now we're going to do squats for 45 seconds. All right, so remember when you're doing squats, make sure you're bending at the knees, okay? Make sure you're bending the knees, keeping that back straight. If you need to, look up. That'll help you keep that back straight, all right? That'll help you continue to keep that back straight for those squats. We're going to do that for 45 seconds. You ready? And begin. 45-second squat. 45-second squat. Very good, very good. Yes, make sure... Bend at the knees, just like so. Very good. And do those for 45 seconds. Getting nice and low. Great job, great job. Excellent, keep it going, 15 seconds. Keep it going, 15 seconds. You got this. Keep it up, keep it up, and time. All right, from here, what we're gonna do now is we're going to stand just like so, and we're going to touch our toes for 45 seconds. So coming all the way up, and then touch our toes, and begin. Stretching all the way to the sky, and then going down and touching our toes. Trying to keep those legs straight, trying to keep those knees not bent. Don't bend those knees. Okay, very good. Awesome, awesome. When you're done with those, Azarel has another question. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll grab the timer so I can pause the time. Three, 
two, one, and time. All right. Well, Azra, you got a question? It's a little chillier today. Do what? It's a little chillier today. Yes. <laughs> it's chilly today. Oh, chilly today. My bad. I'm sorry. It's hard to hear with these in sometimes. Certain words are like funneled. But yes, it is a little chilly today. That is correct. You are right there. You are right. You are right. All right. So next one we're going to do, we're going to do Mario style knee up. So just like so. Just like so. If you've got some room and you can do it, you know, if with a distance, I want you to do consecutively down the line. If you don't have room, I want you to stand in place and then just like so. Okay, we're gonna do that for 45 seconds. Ready? And begin. Mario style. Gotta make the sounds. Bring, bring, bring. <laughs> Get those coins. <laughs> Is that when Mario goes and punches the block? Yeah. Bing, bing. <laughs> Oh, Lord, that caught me off guard. I ain't going to lie. That caught me off guard. <laughs> 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Good. And five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right. From here, go ahead and stretch. Forward arm swings. Very good, and backwards. Excellent, arms across. Keeping those arms nice and extended, and then swinging them in front of you. Very good, very good. And now arms up and down. Very good. Now we're going to take this hand, we're going to cross it across our body, and we're going to pull in. Okay, so for more demonstration purposes, I take this hand across. I'm going to take this hand and pretty much put it on my elbow, and I'm going to pull in. The reason why you want to put it on the elbow is it helps keep that arm nice and locked out. So that way you really are stretching. If I do it here, then I bend my elbow, and it does not really stretch. You can go a little bit beyond the elbow or like closer to your shoulder, but. For me, I feel like I can get the most pull with my elbow. Very good, and switch. Awesome job, holding it, holding it, holding it. Really pulling it in. The more you pull it in, the more stretch you want. Now, you don't want to pull it in too, too much where it starts to hurt, just stretch. All right, very good. Now let's take one hand, put it behind our head, grab the elbow, pull it in, and then lift the chin. Make sure chin up. Very good job. And switch, other side. Very good, very good. Remember that you keep that chin up. When you have that chin up, it helps elevate the shoulder more, the elbow, the arm more, to where it does fully stretch you. All right, now from here, let's go ahead and hip side to side. Very good, very good. And forwards and backwards. Awesome job, awesome job. And circles. Very good. Really big circle swings. All right, you want to make sure you're really getting that stretching. And other way. Excellent, excellent. All right, now we're gonna take one hand, we're gonna grab our foot, 
and we're going to pull it in just like so. So really got to work on that balance. Ah, there we go. And then pulling it in. Very good, very good. And other side. Whoop. This is the side I really don't have good balance on. But we're going to see how this works. There we go. Remember, I haven't fell yet on camera. We'll see when the day comes. Very good, pulling it in, pulling it in. Excellent. All right, now from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this leg and we're gonna lift it up to the side 10 times, 10 times. Ready and begin. Very good, very good. All right, now we're gonna do this side, same thing, 10 times. Let's do this one, counting with me. Okay, so here we go, ready? We're gonna lift this leg up, counting with me. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Very good job. Now let's take our hands, put it behind our back. And let's go ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. I'm going to stop the timer here, but keep going ear to shoulder. There we go. Very good, very good. All right, now let's stretch our head up and down. Excellent, excellent. And left to right. When you're going left to right, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your chin touches your shoulder. And you want to, well, not necessarily touch, but you want to try to get it almost as lined to your shoulder as you can. So we're not just shaking our head like this. I want you really going from side to side. Very good, very good. And circle, head circles. And the other way. Very good, all right, and from here, let's go ahead and go to attention stand. And balcony eight. All right, and GB. So for today, what we're gonna do is I wanna kinda do somewhat kickboxing style uh, class. So, and what I mean by that is we're going to do the combinations that we would normally do in kickboxing for here, because it also can help you guys and girls for sparring. Okay, it's similar techniques, um, just some different terminology, uh, things of nature but I have a list of uh, kickboxing uh, techniques that we've done in the past, and we're gonna work on those today, okay? And we're gonna change it up a little bit. But, um, so what we're gonna start off with today is we're gonna go ahead and get into our sparring stance. And what the first thing we're gonna do is I want to uh, teach how to advance with it, okay? Advancing and being the first one to make the first contact or at least get the first strike can really help you. And sparring in general, and also tournament sparring, okay? So when we're here and we're in our sparring stance, all right, you don't wanna wait until they come to you, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna come to them. Now you can do this effectively with also doing a move. So you're here, and what we're gonna do is this hand's my jab, okay? Cause this foot's in front, so this makes this hand my jab, whereas this hand, the back hand, is my cross. So I'm here, I'm going to leap forward and throw a jab. So what I'm doing is I'm picking this foot up picking my front foot up and I'm pushing off, scooting forward while throwing the jab all at the same time. So I'm here and boom, okay? What that's doing though is giving you the opportunity to make the first move, make the first impression, okay? Impressions are a big thing, all right? So when you're here, I want you coming up, boom, just like so, and then scoot back. And then come back, boom, jab, just like so. I already knew that for 45 seconds. And begin. Pushing forward, throwing that jab, and then scooting back. 45 seconds. And what I want you to do is I want you to imagine you are sparring with a duplicate you, your twin. Okay, and I want you here and just sparring right with where they're at. Okay. 15 seconds. Working on that foot movement. Foot movement's a big thing in sparring. If you just stand here and spar all the time, 
and don't move, that's not going to be really much of an uh, entertaining sparring, right? So you want to get the best scores you can. All right, now, next side. Next thing we're going to do is the same thing. We're going to switch sides, and we're going to scoot forward and jab with the other side now for 45 seconds. And begin. We're here. We move forward and jab. So, but for testing purposes, right, you want to get the best sparring scores you can. Some of that's movement. Movement can definitely increase that score. Use the front hand when you're jabbing. Very good, very good. 15 seconds. And I'll go into explaining on why we want to use the front hand. Good, keep it up, keep it up. Five seconds, five seconds. And time. All right, so reason why do we do things like this? Okay. So why do we use, why do we want to use the front hand, right? Why did Ms. McCarty say, make sure you use that front hand where you're jabbing? Not only is it a proper technique because that's, you know, the jab is the front hand, but also because it's the hand that can reach the quickest. If I'm having, if I'm trying to use my backhand on certain moves, it works, but other moves, it doesn't. If I'm trying to be here and I come through like that, you're not wrong, but at the same time, this hand won't reach as far as this hand does, okay? See that. So we're here. Even if I scoot forward and I throw that jab or throw the backhand, it's going to go that far. When I throw the jab, notice how much of a further reach I get. That means I don't have to go as far as I need to. That's more for distance for myself as well. Okay. So for example, if me and Mr. Cardi was sparring, right? And we're sparring here and, you know, she wants to come in and do that. If she uses her backhand, she has to get a lot closer. So I might be able to, you know, see that she's coming in and use that hand and I can throw a round kick. Or, you know, I can block it or something like that, right? But if, I, if she goes in and throws that front hand, A, it's quicker. B, I don't see it really as, quick, as much. And I can't react to it. And like I said, she does not have to go as far or as close to me as possible. So she can come in and strike and then scoot back out. And I never even knew what happened. Okay? So it is it not wrong. She, oh. What's your question, oh, couldn't see that that well. Oh. Couldn't see what? Um, the stuff that you were doing. Just now, me explaining uh, the different terms, or when we're doing the drill. Oh, I unmuted. I'm sorry. I think he means just what you did now. He couldn't see the okay. difference between that, but pretty much okay. what he's just saying is this. Your backhand is not going to reach as far as your front hand is when your opponent is standing in front of you. Yeah. So I'll show again, demonstrate just real quick. So this is my front leg. So that makes this hand my jab. This is my back leg. So this hand's my cross. So when I throw, if I go in to scoot in, I won't do it now, but if I was to scoot in and I throw that cross, notice how far I get of a reach, right? That's about as far as it goes. If I was to throw my jab, though, I get almost probably a foot more of a reach okay so that's why you want to use that front hand for a lot of things that's why in sparring we use a lot of the front part of the body so when we're here you know this is my front part of my body i'm using my front leg as for kicks you know back fist with my hands things of that nature is because it's the quicker side okay because in sparring remember we want speed not so much power right so when we're sparring we want to use our speed so our front part of our body is going to be quicker because we're not leaning on that part of the body. When we go for something like bar breaking, that's when we start to use that back part of our body because then it increases. We get all of our body moving with it and it also increases that power. Okay. That's, that's where all this relates to. Okay. Is when you're using, when you're doing sparring, you want that front of your pot, the front part of your body to move in quick. So that way you can get in and get out. Right. Especially for tournaments. Tournament, we all know if you've done a tournament sparring, you know. If not, I'm explaining now. Tournament sparring is a little different to where it's whoever can make contact first. It's like a game of tag. It is a legit game of tag, a sparring style. So when you're here and you jump in and then you can get out, and if you make contact, guess what? You just got a point, right? But if you just sit there and wait, they might get a point. Or if you try to use the backhand, you might not reach as far 
or you won't reach as far. So then you might not actually make contact to where then it, uh, it doesn't get to that point. So when you're here, boom, straight in and then come right out. All right. Does that make sense for everybody? Can I see a thumbs up? Thumbs up if that made sense. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right. Ezra, Lion, get off the floor. Stand up. All right. So from here, now we're going to include that back end though. So now we're going to do a jab and a cross. Reason being is what if they block the jab? What if they move out of the way? You got to have, you know, follow-up moves, right? Combination. So we're here, we're going to jump in and jab, and then we're going to throw the backhand cross. Now, when I do that, though, notice I'm here, I throw that jab, and then when I go to throw the cross, watch this foot. Watch this foot. Notice I turn into it. Okay, what that's doing is that, ex that extends my body even further with the cross. So when I'm here, and then when I twist, Notice how I went a little further, three or four inches, but that's all I may need, right? So we, that's, use it, with you, with, use it at, while you can. So you're here, you scoot forward and jab, and then you're going to turn cross, okay? And then come right back to your sparring stand. Notice my hands didn't drop at all. So I'm here, one, two, okay? And this is sparring, so we're going to do it fast, okay? So, I don't, so if you want to, in the first one or two times doing it, go step by step, but then eventually I want you here. All right, and scoot them back and then doing it again. Okay, do we have any questions on that? Let me ask that before we get started. Any questions? Any questions? Any questions at all? No. Parker, do you have a question? What's your, I can't unmute you. Okay, what's your question? Is that well? Do I know? I didn't see that well. Oh, okay. So, I'll explain again. Speaker view, there we go. So I can see where I'm at. All right, so. So we're in our sparring stance, right, Parker? What you're going to do is you're going to scoot forward, just like we just did. We're going to throw the front hand. We're going to throw that jab. And then as we turn to go throw that cross, my back foot's going to turn with it to where then it leans me forward into it. And then I'm going to reset. And then I'm going to scoot back. Okay? So I'm here. Come up. One, two. And then I reset and scoot back. You good, buddy? Yes? Okay. All right. 45 seconds. We're going to work on that. You ready? Sparring your stance. And yes, even if I can't hear you, I still want you to say, ah, yeah. 45 seconds. And hands up. Begin. Remember, keep those hands up the whole time. Scooting in, jab, cross, and scoot back. That foot movement might be a little new for some of you. It might be a little weird for you. It's okay. The more you practice, the, the nat more natural it'll get. Come oh, on, Barker. Let me see it. Just hop and be light on your feet, bud. Good. 15 seconds. Yeah, sparring. You want to be light on those feet. You want to be able to move. Hey, you're not going to be bouncing around, but you don't want to be concrete. Three, two, one, and time. All right, now let's switch legs. Put the other leg in front. Do the same thing. Scoot forward, jab, and cross. Scoot forward, jab, cross, and move back. And begin. Awesome job. Awesome job. I'm going to come up and watch and see how y'all doing. Let's see how we doing. Good, good, good. Remember, keep those hands up. When one hand, and also when one hand front and the other hand's at your face. One hand's back here, back at home. Yeah, about 15 seconds. Good, Aiden. Aiden, if you could scoot back from the bag, and then I want you to scoot into the bag and then scoot back. I still want you moving, even when you're punching on the bag. Okay, buddy? Awesome, and time. All right, so. And Eddie, what I meant by that was, I, I fully uh, approve of you punching a bag. I just want you still moving forward and backwards, okay? That's what I was trying to get. So, from here, let's see. Next thing we're going to do. Let's say, for example, oh, Azra got the question. I can't unmute. Why can't I unmute? Okay, what's the question? 
my camera fell again because when I jump all the time, then the phone falls down. Oh, well, just be a little cautious with that, all right? Um, and when we're doing these moves, when we're scooting forward, I don't want you having that mindset that you're jumping, okay? I don't want you jumping forward. I just want you to kind of lift the leg off a little bit and then scoot, right? So, so there's a difference between here and here, right? I'm keeping most of my contact on the ground and I'm just scooting in, okay? So from here, let's go into an example, a situation where maybe they move backwards, right? So you, they might scoot back, you know, if they see you come in at them, they might be like, oh, whoa, 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 what's going on, right? So what we're going to do is I want you to advance, jab one time, advance, jab one time, then cross. Okay. So I'll show that again. I'll show that again. Cause I know Parker wants to see me do it again. Right, buddy? Yes. He likes me just demonstrating. All right. So we're here. So I'm going to scoot forward, jab, scoot forward, jab, and then cross. So full motion is going to look like this. Just like so. One, two, cross. Okay, so we're still continuously moving because like I said, they might, they're gonna be moving too. They're gonna be reacting to it, right? So we're gonna add an extra scoot in there. Okay, we're gonna shuffle forward. It's actually called shuffling. You're gonna shuffle forward. All right, two times with a jab. So one, two, cross. All right, does anybody have questions on that? Does anybody need to see that again? Are we all good? All right, looks like we all good. Okay, so hands up, sparring stance. If you don't have room, if you don't have the room to be able to uh, shuffle forward twice, I want you just a little bit, okay? So if you can't shuffle forward all the way, that's all right. I still want you in that movement though, so just shuffle a little bit. Okay? And you can imagine you have, you know, a little bit of room, enough room to be able to do a little bit of shuffle, okay? 45 seconds up, here we go. And begin. begin. There we go. Nice, Mason. There you go. Remember, we're keeping our hands up even when we're moving, even when we're shuffling. We're here. One, two, oh. Very good. Very good. Great, and if man. you want to get in the mindset of you shuffling, when you shuffle forward and do those, do those punches, you can also shuffle backwards. Okay, it's the same thing except the opposite direction. So I, I pick up my front foot, shuffle backwards, I pick up my back foot, whoop, don't twist your ankle though, and push off with the front hand. All right, so from here, switch sides, same thing. One, two, cross, and then move backwards. One, two, cross, and move backwards. Begin. Let me see how we're doing. Let me see how we're doing. How we're doing here. Very good, very good. Looks good, Dylan. We're looking good. We're looking good, we're looking good. Very good, Ezra. Excellent. Nice, Ryan. Very good. Good, Dylan. Excellent, Omar. All right, very good job. Keep it going, keep it going. All right, so from here, reason being why we keep our hands up. I want you to have this mindset, okay? It helped me a lot when I was going through the ranks as well. Yes, you want to keep your hands up because obviously it keeps you protected, right? Okay, you're able to easily protect your body. You can block quicker things of that nature, and, you know, you want your hands up so that way you're in a good defense mode. But at the same time, I want you to have that mindset, this is home, okay? Everyone loves to go home, right? Everyone loves to be at home eventually, okay? Home is where you feel most comfortable with, right? Home is where you feel safe. This is your safety area. This is your comfort area, okay? You want to be at home, all right? When you go out the door, you come back home eventually, right? When you go to school, you come back home. When you go to the grocery store, you come back home, right? When you go anywhere, you come back home, okay? 
So I want you to stay in that home position unless you're going somewhere. And then you come back, okay? So, but when you're throwing these punches, I saw it a couple times. I don't, um, punching is something you want to be quick with, right? So when you come around like this and you kind of draw like a half circle, you're not really doing much of a hook, but you're coming in at an angle or, you know, you might be coming in low and come, trying to come, you know, come back up. When you're doing that, you're slowing down just a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean literally like that much. All right, you're slowing down though enough though to where it might cost you that point, right? So when you're here, I want you to scoot and I want you to punch straight in front of you, okay? I want you to just extend that arm out. Notice how I'm not, I don't come around, right? I don't come around, I don't come up. I'm coming straight out and coming back home, okay? So we're working on that speed for sparring. So when we're here, now what we're gonna do, let's say they scoot back, right? And then let's say they scoot away, right? They go to circle because, you know, everyone has a certain amount of space, so they got to circle eventually, right? So what we're going to do is you're in your spine stance. One, two, cross. And now since this leg is turned, I'm going to throw a round kick, okay? When I throw that round kick, even if they're here, guess what? I'm going to hit them. If they're here, different. guess what? I'm going to hit them. Now that might change them. What if they go this way? This side's not going to work anything, right? So you've got to be ready for whatever direction they go. So if they go this way, I might pick this foot up and round kick that way. Okay, so I'm going to let you choose whether you use the front leg for a round kick or a back leg for a round kick. But we're here. I'm going to do it this way so that way you can see. One, two, cross, and then round kick with either the back leg or the front leg. So remember, always stay home, okay, unless you need to go somewhere. Right, especially now. Make sure you stay home unless you're going to go somewhere. Essential. <laughs> All right, so one, two, three. Round kick. Either front leg or back leg. Does not matter. Yeah. All right, do we have any questions on that? I think that was my dad joke for the day. It's like any Parker questions? does. I have a joke for them. All right, what's your joke? Why? Did, what is a pig's favorite? Karate move. Hmm. I know that. I don't know. What is it? A karate chop. I, I forgot karate. it. From it's a poor cop. <laughs> that was a good joke. All right. So, all right, uh, here we go. Next round. All right. So, one, two, three. cross, round kick with either the front leg or the back leg. Does not matter. All right. Y'all ready? Hands are up. 45 seconds. And begin. I want to see you moving, and then I want to see those kicks. I want to see you moving, and then seeing those kicks. One, two, cross, round kick. Doesn't matter. You can do both legs, right? You can do one, the front leg on one, and then go for it again, and then do the back leg, right? You can alternate. Something that might help too is when you go to throw the front leg, step up with it. Give you that a little bit more reach. But your legs are longer than you think. Okay, so you're going to be able to reach pretty good with those kicks. All right, but you can do that. And I'll go into the demonstration on that after this round. Alexander, you're doing good. Just get those hands up, bud, okay? Keep them up even when you kick. All right, so let me explain that real quick. So what I mean by stepping forward with helping with that front leg round kick. When you're here, come up one, two, three, right? If I'm going to use my front leg, I step up a little bit to throw the round kick. Reason being is it helps make sure I keep my balance. Don't have to do that, but when you're here and you say you don't step forward, you've got to lean your body backwards, right? You've got to, be, you've got to lean your body backwards to pick up the foot because you're moving forward, so you're leaning into it. So if you step and recenter yourself just for a split second, okay, because you know you don't want to have your feet crossed or anything like that for too long, are you here? One, two, three, boom. Okay. Your feet need to move quickly. See how quickly that's moving? I don't know if you can see it fully with a video. I'm hoping you can. But when you're here, I'm stepping and bringing that foot up fast. All right. Being very fast. So you're here. You step, kick, round kick, front kick, side kick, whatever you need to. But you're here. We're working on that round kick. Come up. Round kick. All right. Sound good? So we're going to go to the other side now. 
So if this one is a, this leg was in front, now I'm going to put this leg in front. I'm going to do the same combination with the other side. Remember, you can either use either round kick or you can do both. Just be alternating. All right, 45 seconds. And begin. Front hand jab two times, back hand cross, round kick. Front leg or back leg. Just remember to keep your hands at home. Unless they're doing something, unless they're going somewhere, keep those hands at home. Keep those hands at home. 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. See how we're doing on time. Time's perfect. All right. Mr. Cardi, how long are we doing this split for today? I imagine it's more than two minutes. Two minutes and 20 seconds. Two minutes and 20 seconds. All right. So we'll finish up with this last set of combo and then we'll go into the split challenge. So, Parker, question. I remember my gym. Can you wait till after class to do it so we can keep moving forward? Yes, yeah, I can okay. wait. All right. Yeah, tell me later, okay? So let's say for purposes to get, get away, right? So let's go into a defensive move. Because it's okay to do defensive moves when you're sparring, right? That's where the blocks come in, that's where you circle and all that good stuff. So what we're gonna do is, let me switch it back to where you can see me fully. There we go. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna do what's called a bob and weave, all right? This is great for when, Mr. Cardi, can I borrow you real quick actually for this one? So I can demonstrate a little better. I'm sorry. <laughs> In one second, she's going to see her on her way. So I won't make her do like a round kick, but that's fine. All right, so. All right, so what she's going to do is she's going to throw a front hand. Let's say she throws a hook, right? She's trying to come for the side of my head. I'm going to do a bob and weave. I'm going to get low, all right? It's kind of like I'm doing a squat. So what I'm doing is I'm dropping my, le my knees, dropping my booty, but keeping my back straight so that way I've still got a good posture. All right, so she tries to throw that hook. Boom, it comes through. Now guess what? Now guess what we can do? Two forward jab, two forward jab, cross, round kick. All right, or let's say I don't get her with any of those, right? And then she might do it. So I'm here, I'm like, okay, I'm coming at you, I'm coming at you, can't do it. And she throws that hook, guess what? Bob and weave. All right, so, but we're gonna start off today with doing the bob and weave first and then progressing in, okay? But just know that you can change these moves around as needed, okay, where you see fit, all right? Did, does that help with everybody on the demonstration? To kind of see, are we good? Yes? All right, thank you, Ms. McCarty. All right, so what are you gonna do? Can you're you do your that? Yeah, I'm gonna do it now. All right, so we're here, we're gonna bob and weave. Okay, we're gonna come down, lean forward, two jabs, cross, and a round kick, all right? So we're here, and the only reason why I didn't kick was because I got really close to camera. So I'm just going back a little bit. So we're here. I bottom weave, move forward, and then just like so. And all a bobbin weave really is is a squat. Now to do a true style bobbin weave, it does you do kind of rotate with it, but we're not going to worry about that. I just want you getting low, getting down, so that way you don't get hit. Okay. Here we go. 45 seconds. Y'all ready? 45 seconds, and begin. Good, and don't forget to do that bob and weave. So you start here at home, you bob and weave. Notice my hands stay at home still. My, my hands don't move. They stay at home, and then I go in to do the move. 20 seconds. Good, 15 seconds. 15 seconds, almost there, almost there. Keep it going, keep it going. Nice. And then another thing too, just to know as well, when you do the bob and weave, you're still in that sparring stance. So one leg is still in front when you're doing it. All right. So from here, let's switch side. Last round. When the buzzer beeps. Two, one, begin. So you bob and weave, even in that sparring stance. Hands stay home. And you throw in those round kicks. 
by the leaves, jabs, cross, round kick. Good, very good. Keep it going, 25 seconds, 25 seconds. Ah, I forgot to buy the leaf. Yeah, go, go, go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Four, three, two, one, and time. All right. So there we go. So we got our combinations for the day. Okay, or a combination for the day. But you remember, you can change the, change it up. You can add to it. You whatever you see fit when you are sparring with somebody that you may need to do. Okay, so you you know a round kick might not work. You might need to do a side kick, right? Or you know you might want to throw some back fists in there. Okay, that's okay. If you can scoot forward and throw those back fists, that's all right. All right. You're just being creative, right? All right. So from here. Let's go ahead, go into those splits now. As soon as Ms. McCarty sees everybody's in those splits, we're gonna get that timer started. But everybody's gotta be in the split. Everybody's gotta be doing those splits. I'm doing them with you. First class of the day. Come on, Noah, get down so I can start the timer. Parker, Mason. All right, and begin. Make sure you're not on your knees. Make sure you're on your feet. Good job. What's the matter, Azarel? Hang on, I'm trying to unmute you, bud. I'm almost in my splits. I know you are like almost all the way down. That's awesome, bud. Keep it going, guys and girls. Keep it going. Halfway there, almost there. Hang in there. Keep it up, guys and girls. Doing great. We're almost there. We are. Twenty less seconds. Than two minutes That's all you got. Seconds. That's nothing. You can do it. Oh, okay, there we go. See, 20 more seconds. I'm going to say I can promise it's less than two minutes and 20 seconds. Five seconds. Come on, stop. Woo! All right. Woo. All right. There we go. All right, so great job to everybody today. All right, keep practicing on those moves. Like I said, get creative, create your own. Okay, see what you can come up with. And that's your homework for the day. All right, but great job for anybody that was in last night's class. Make sure you get that homework done too. I'm giving y'all homework. Mm -hmm. Thank All you. Right. You're welcome. So if you have any questions, stay, stay, stay for a second and we'll get to you. If not, you're good to go. You are dismissed and we'll see y'all later. Good job.